Hey everybody, this is Jared with JC Gaming. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is for all of my Steam Deck brethren. I want to talk to you all about how to elevate your Steam Deck experience by utilizing Decky Loader. For those of you that might be unfamiliar, Decky Loader is basically a tool that acts as a plugin launcher. Through Decky Loader, you're able to download a bunch of various plugins some that can enhance your customization options within the Steam Deck, some that allow access to different settings within the Steam Deck system itself that you may not be able to normally access, or some that can give more insights into various games, how they'll handle on the Steam Deck and things like that. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Decky Loader, and then I'll also be talking through a few of my personal favorite plugins, ones that I utilize very frequently, so let's go ahead and check that out. Before we jump into the installation process, I'm going to ask you to check one thing first and go into your settings and verify what your system update channel is. Mine is set to stable, but some of you may be set to something different. This is just important information to keep in mind once we download Decky Loader. After you have this information on hand, we're going to jump over into desktop mode, so go to power and switch to desktop. Now that we're here in desktop mode, we're going to open up whatever browser is your browser of choice, and we are going to search for Decky Loader. You can see I already have that here in my recent searches. And then we're going to go to this first link that we're going to get to the GitHub of Decky Loader. And we're going to scroll down just a little bit until we find that download button, and we're going to go ahead and download this. Once that is downloaded, you're going to want to navigate to your downloads folder, either through this drop down here, just going through your navigator. Um, and then you want to just run that installation. It's going to run that process for you and ask for a password. If this is your first time running this, um, it can set a password for you. Or if you've done this before, it's going to ask for your previous password. Don't forget this. From here, it's going to ask us what version we want to download. If our system update channel was set to stable, we're going to choose the latest release. And if we were set to beta, we'll choose the latest pre-release. After that installation has completed, we're going to go ahead and navigate back to gaming mode. So now that we're back in gaming mode, let's go ahead and actually download some plugins. To get to Decky Loader, we're going to hit our button with the three dots on it. It's going to open up this pop-up and we're going to scroll down to the little plug icon. For you, you shouldn't have any plugins yet. You can see I have one, which is how I'm screen recording this right now. But to start actually downloading plugins, we're going to click that little storefront icon and it brings up this little store of plugins where you can choose any plugin that you want to start downloading and installing onto your Steam Deck. So the first plugin that I am talking to you all about, one that I use all the time, is Decky Recorder. Decky Recorder basically turns your Steam Deck into a handy screen recorder. This is what I use all the time when I'm trying to record gameplay for any of my videos. From here, you can start or stop recordings. You can turn on replay mode. You can choose which file type you want your videos to be, as well as what folder you want your videos to save to. The default folder is the videos folder, which I'll show you here in desktop mode, so if you are utilizing Decky Recorder and you save some videos and you want to utilize it, you can navigate back into desktop mode, go to your videos folder, and you can see these are some videos that I have recorded and saved lately for some of my previous other videos. You can even see the one that I'm literally recording for you all right now. I click into it and it's going to show, oh hey, here's the, the storefront that we're recording for this video. So that's how you can actually access any of the videos that you have recorded by utilizing Decky Recorder. Have you ever wondered how long a game will take? Well, the How Long to Beat plugin is great for you then. It integrates the How Long to Beat website directly into your deck's interface where you can get an estimated playtime information for your games at a glance, which can help you plan your gaming sessions and tackle your backlog accordingly. For example, Fallout 4, I can see how long it would take to beat if I play just the main mission or extras or if I'm a perfectionist wanting to complete everything. I can even click the View Details uh, tab here and it'll actually take me to the How Long to Beat website which can give me a little bit more information on how long it'll take to beat the game based on different play styles.
Next up is ProtonDB badges, which will give you better information on just how well games may play on the Steam Deck. This plugin displays badges next to your Steam Deck games based on their Proton compatibility rating on ProtonDB. So if I wanted to see how well Borderlands played, I can see that this is a gold rating, so it's going to play pretty good. If I click on that badge, it actually takes me to the website, so I can see, hey, Borderlands gold, it is verified as playable, and I can even see some comments that people have left based on how it handles on the Steam Deck checking out another game if we were to go into stardew valley here we can see that this is rated platinum we click into it it is verified and once again we can see what other people have said about playing this on the steam deck have you ever wanted to personalize your deck's look and feel? Well, CSS Loader is the plugin for you. This plugin lets you inject custom themes into your Steam Deck's UI, change colors, fonts, layouts, and more to create a personalized deck experience. To actually download themes, just go into the plugin and click that download button at the top, which will take you to the theme storefront, uh, where you can download and install various themes. For this purpose, I'm gonna download and install Phantom, so we just click into that, click the install button. And then from here, you can see on my homepage, I still have that default theme, but when I refresh this, I can see that phantom option and I turn that on and bam, instantly changes the theme on my Steam Deck. One thing that I do want to mention is if you are not running stable on your Steam Deck, maybe you're running that beta participation and you had to install the latest pre-release, some plugins may not work. CSS Loader is one of those plugins, for example. So you can see here when I was running the beta on my Steam Deck and I installed the Phantom uh, theme via CSS Loader, even though I install that and I try to turn that on, it's not actually updating the theme on my Steam Deck. So if you're running into any issues where the plugin is not working correctly, it could be because you are on the beta for Steam Deck or you have the latest pre-release version of Decky Loader. Another great customization plugin is Steam Grid DB, which will let you update the thumbnails of games within your library. For example, here on my non-Steam games, I have various launchers and whatnot. I have Battle.net launcher to play WoW, but you can see I have no artwork for it. So by utilizing Steam Grid DB, if I just click on that and I change artwork, I can choose to change the thumbnail for this launcher. I'm gonna just choose one of these Battle.net ones, but you can see once I apply that, I actually have some thumbnail clip art here versus that boring gray square. I'm gonna go ahead and change the artwork for Poke MMO also. So we're gonna see some options here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose that fourth one in, doing a little throwback to the OG9. Uh, got all of the starters, their evolutions as well. So we can apply that artwork here and you can see that appear on my home screen as well. This isn't just useful for your non-Steam games though, you can also change the clip art for any games you have in your library. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the artwork for Cyberpunk also. And looking at our options, that second one, we've got those Akira vibes, totally sick. So we're gonna go ahead and update the thumbnail for Cyberpunk as well. And then the last plugin that I'm gonna to talk to y'all about today is Storage Cleaner. It's not the funnest or flashiest of plugins, but it's incredibly useful. If you're running low on space, Storage Cleaner can help you identify and remove unnecessary files from your Steam Deck, free up that valuable storage for new games by cleaning out temporary files, uh, shader caches, and other clutter. So I think this is incredibly handy just to keep your uh, Steam Deck running smoothly and efficiently. So you can see here at about eight gigs of compatibility data that I'm gonna just go ahead and clear up because I don't think I really need it right now. So Decky Loader is a phenomenal tool for anyone that has a Steam Deck. I highly recommend it to anybody. I think it really just helps to enhance and elevate that Steam Deck experience. Those were a few of my personal favorite plugins, ones that I do utilize very frequently. I know that I personally have only scratched the surface of what Decky Loader can offer to gamers. So if there's any plugins that you are utilizing that I didn't cover that you think are definitely worth checking out, please let me know in the comments below. And if you thought that this video was informative and insightful, please like and think about subscribing to the channel. It would be very much appreciated. And as always, game on.